Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Saldina and I make IT and programming related videos. So if that is something that is of interest to you, consider subscribing to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as well. Now in this video, I want to show you how you can build an ATM application. And the first thing that I want to do in order to build this application is going to be to plan the functionalities that this application is going to have. So I'm going to put a comment here and then here we are going to write all the functionalities that our ATM is going to have. So the first one is going to be to check the balance. So I'm going to write that. So check balance. And then another functionality is going to be to deposit money. So let's say deposit like this. Okay. And then what else? Well, we should be able to withdraw money as well. So let's write that. Okay. And I definitely want to show the menu to my user. So I'm going to write that as well. So I'm going to say show menu like this. Okay. Now, after we have written these functionalities that we want to implement, the first one that I want to implement is going to be this show menu function. So I'm going to put the code for this show menu functionality in a function and let's create that function here. So I'm going to say void. It is going to be of void return type. Let's call it show menu like this. Oh, like this. Okay. And then what I want to do here is I want to write out the menu to my user. So I'm going to say C out and then let's add these star symbols. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is going to be enough like this. And then I'm going to copy this on the other side so that it looks proportional. Okay. And then the first option that I want to write out to my user is going to be uh, let's add first and then check balance. So that is going to be the first option that our user can choose. And then let's add a couple more of these. So the second option is going to be deposit. So I'm going to write that like this. And then the third option is going to be to withdraw. So I'm going to copy this here and then paste it here. Okay, and then let's add these star symbols at the end of our menu, like this. Okay, now, after we have created this show menu function, what I want to do is I want to invoke this function. So here I'm going to say um, show menu, like this. Okay, and if I run my program, as you can see, we have this menu shown to our user. Now, what should happen next is we should allow our user to choose one of these three options. So the next thing that I will do is I will create a variable. So let's create it here. Let's say int, and that variable is going to store the option that our user chooses. So I'm going to call it option like this. And then here, after I have written out this menu, so this menu here to my user, I'm going to say C out and then please choose an option or whatever message you want to show. So option like this. And then I want to accept the value that my user enters in this option variable. So I'm going to say C in option like this. Okay. Now, if I run this program again, as you can see, it asks for option. And if I select any of these three options, if I press three, for example, you can see that my program closes because we haven't written any code after this line here. So what I want to do now is I want to handle these three options. And I'm going to handle these three options using a switch case. So I'm going to write switch. Okay. And then here I want to put this option variable. So that is going to be the value that I want to check. So I'm going to say switch option. And then 
in the case that our user has entered option one, what I want to do is I want to write out the balance to my user. And in order to do that, I'm going to create a balance variable because we do not have a balance variable yet. So I'm going to give it a type double like this and call it balance. Okay, and let's assign it initial value of, uh, for example, 500. Okay, so that is going to be the initial value of our balance um, variable. So here I'm going to say C out, and then let's say balance is, okay, and then let's write out this balance variable. And I'm going to add this dollar symbol at the end, and I'm going to add end line as well. Okay, so that is going to happen in the case that our user enters value or option one. And I'm going to add break at the end of each case. So here as well. Okay, now our second case is going to be when our user enters option two, like this. So in that second case, we should allow our user to deposit money. So here I'm going to say C out, and then let's write out um, deposit amount. So we want to ask our user how, how much money he wants to deposit. So in order to accept the value that our user enters, I'm going to create a variable, which I'm going to call deposit amount. So let's create that variable. It's going to be of type double and it is going to be called deposit amount like this. And then I'm going to accept the value that our user enters here in my deposit amount variable like this. Okay. And now what I want to do with this deposit amount is I want to add it to my balance. So I'm going to say balance is now going to be equal to whatever my balance was previously holding, plus this deposit amount, like this. And then let's add break at the end as well. Okay, and then our third option, our third case is going to be when our user wants to withdraw money. So I'm going to copy this case here, and then paste it here. And here I want to write out a different message to my user. So I'm going to say withdraw amount, let's copy this. Okay, and then this variable, I'm going to call it withdraw amount, like this, okay. And then here, I want to enter that withdraw amount. And what I'm going to do with my balance in that situation is going to be, I want to subtract that withdraw amount from my balance. But I want to subtract that withdraw amount only in a situation where this withdraw amount is equal to or less than this balance. So I'm going to say here, if withdraw, where it is, withdraw amount is less than or equal to balance, like this, then I want to give that money to my user. Else, meaning if our user has requested more money than he has, I'm going to write out a message. So I'm going to say not enough money like this okay and that is going to happen so this code here is going to happen in the case that our user enters option three which is this one here okay so now if i run my program you can see that it asks option and let's say that we want this first option so this check balance and it says that the balance is 500 and if I press anything else as you can see my program is going to close and that is because we haven't implemented any loop that is going to iterate this code here so let's add that loop now so here I'm going to say do so do while loop is the one that I want to use and then inside my do while loop I'm going to put all of this code here so let's add a curly bracket, close curly bracket at the end, like this. And then I'm going to say, please do this block of code here, while. And then 
I want to do this code here while the option that my user has entered, oh, option, that my user has entered is not equal to 4. And when my user enters option 4, we should stop the execution of our program. So in order for our user to know that 4 means exit, we are going to write that here in our show menu function. So here I'm going to add this fourth option, which is going to exit our program like this. Okay, now if I run this code, you can see that it says that it has this menu here and then it asks for option. So I'm going to enter option one, for example. Okay, and this option one says that balance is $500. Now let's enter this second option. Let's enter this deposit option. So I'm going to press two. And as you can see, it says, please enter deposit amount. So let's say that I want to deposit $700 for example. Okay, now if I check my balance again, so I have entered this option one, and then I press enter, as you can see, it says that my balance is $1,200. And there's one thing that I want to do with this program, because I don't like the way that this looks. It is not really readable. So I'm going to add um, clear screen, so clear console command, and I'm going to add that here. So after my user chooses his option, I want to clear the console. So I'm going to say system and then let's add CLS, which is a command that is going to clear my console, clear my um, window. So if I run my program again, as you can see, again, we have this menu and then it asks us for the option. So let's say that I want to check my balance. It says that my balance is $500. Now let's try to withdraw money. Let's say that I want to withdraw money and I want to withdraw $600, for example. And then it says not enough money because we had $500 um, on our account. So now what I want to do is, let's say for example that I want to deposit $100, okay? And then I want to withdraw $600, okay? And if I check my balance now, as you can see, balance is zero. And in order to test this exit functionality, let's press four. And then if I press enter, as you can see, my application is going to close. Now, another thing that I want to check is going to be what is going to happen if our user enters option that is not valid, meaning an option that is not any of these four that we have covered here. So if I run my program again, as you can see, um, it asks us to enter options, so I'm going to enter option 5, for example, which is not valid, and nothing has happened. If I enter option 9, nothing has happened again, 99, okay, now you get the point. What is happening here is our program tries to find this adequate option, so option 5, option 9, whichever one we have selected, and since that option does not exist in these cases here, our program continues to this while check, and then it checks that the option is not equal to four, and because our option is five or nine or 99, which is not equal to four, then our do while iterates again, and then it writes this show menu again, and then it asks us to enter this option again. So these three options are the only valid options that you can select, and then four means that you are going to exit your program. Now, here we have created this show menu function that has a check balance, deposit, withdraw, and then this exit option. And what I want to suggest to you is how you can upgrade this program on your own. So for example, you can create two users, two accounts, and what you can do with those two users is you can implement transfer option, meaning um, transfer money from one account to the other account. And I'm going to leave that up to you. And if some of you decide to write that code, make sure to paste it in the comments down below. And I'm going to review that code and some other people may find it useful as well. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon as well and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.